Lack of ability to relate to others or being self-conscious are common personality traits among family trauma survivors. After experiencing trauma at the hands of a caregiver or close family member, it can be difficult to trust others and form healthy relationships. This can lead to feelings of isolation, self-consciousness, and a lack of ability to relate to others on a deep and meaningful level. The root cause of these traits is a deep-seated fear of being hurt or rejected again, which can make it challenging for trauma survivors to open up and connect with others. However, with the right support and tools, it is possible to overcome these challenges and build meaningful relationships. Here are some suggestions that can help. 1. Seek therapy. One of the most effective ways to deal with the lack of ability to relate to others is to seek therapy. A therapist can help you process your trauma, develop a deeper understanding of yourself, and work on building healthy relationships. 2. Join a support group. Support groups can provide a safe and supportive environment where you can connect with others who have gone through similar experiences. Being surrounded by others who understand what you are going through can help you feel less isolated and build meaningful relationships. 3. Practice self-awareness. To build healthy relationships, it is important to have a strong understanding of yourself and your needs. Take time to reflect on your emotions, behaviors, and patterns, and identify areas where you might be struggling with trust or connection. 4. Learn assertiveness skills. Being assertive means expressing your needs and boundaries in a confident and respectful manner. Assertiveness skills can help you communicate more effectively, form healthy relationships, and reduce feelings of self-consciousness. 5. Cultivate self-compassion. Self-compassion involves treating yourself with kindness and understanding, even when you make mistakes or fall short of your expectations. Cultivating self-compassion can help you be more forgiving of yourself and reduce feelings of self-consciousness. 6. Engage in self-care. Taking care of yourself is an essential aspect of building healthy relationships. Engage in activities that bring you joy, like hobbies or exercise, and make time for self-reflection and mindfulness. 7. Practice positive self-talk. Our thoughts and beliefs play a significant role in shaping our experiences. Replace negative self-talk with positive, self-affirming statements that can help you build confidence and reduce feelings of self-consciousness. 8. Cultivate gratitude. Gratitude involves focusing on the things in your life that you are thankful for, rather than dwelling on the negative. Practicing gratitude can help you shift your focus from the past and reduce feelings of self-consciousness. In conclusion, overcoming the personality traits of lack of ability to relate to others or being self-conscious can be a long and challenging journey for family trauma survivors. However, with the right support and tools, it is possible to build meaningful relationships and find healing. Remember to be gentle with yourself, seek support when needed, and never give up on your journey towards a fulfilling and meaningful life.